Hey guys, I'm JD Ross. So before we start, I just want to say if I sound weird, it's because I'm kind of sick right now. So this video is about how to make your own pre-made prefix for Lutris that has all the most commonly used dependencies for games. Now I know that Lutris can install dependencies through uh, wine tricks, but apparently in my experience, when you install this many dependencies at once, it just hangs. Sometimes you can't even install some of it. One trick just stops. So what I did is I have all these installers of those dependencies that are commonly used. And now we're going to make a prefix folder. Now the reason I can't share my prefix folder with you guys is if you've been following my channel, I did a video on that. And unfortunately, I cannot share my prefix folder with you guys because it might just not work at all. So having your prefix folder made on your Steam Deck is a better option. So let's start. Now let's say that we're going to run Stray, okay? Now right click on that and then configure. Click game options and then click browse. Now I have to make it clear that Stray does not need this pre-made prefix folder. Stray just works, but we're just gonna use Stray just so I could show you how to use the pre-made prefix folder. So we're gonna browse to downloads because that's where I downloaded the files. And we're gonna start from the top to bottom. Save, and then install. If you see this, that's okay. That just means that your Steam Deck already has it installed. But if not, just click install and then go through the installation. It should be easy. And that's it. You can now go to configure and then change this to the actual. Uh, game. Where is it? There we go. And then now you can run the game, but don't run it yet. We're going to save the prefix folder. Stray. And then save it as something else. I'm going to copy it and then save it. I'm gonna name it Lutris Prefix. So, what do we do with this folder? Every time you have a new game that you want to run through Lutris, you can use this as the base prefix folder so you don't have to install the common dependencies every time. What you do is just right click on it and then duplicate here. And then rename this to whatever you want and then use that as the prefix folder for your new game. So that's it for today's video. I hope I help you guys. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.